It's impossible to independently verify these claims being made by both the Russians and the Ukrainians over what is being reported as an escalation of fighting in various different locations in the east and to a certain extent slightly south as well. Started with Russia's claim, Russian military saying that uh, they had repelled what they described as a large-scale Ukrainian operation trying to push into areas that uh, Russia occupied in the southern Donetsk region. Um, they supplied what they said was Russian drone footage showing a green field with military vehicles in that field being targeted, some of them exploding. But as I say, impossible to confirm whether indeed those vehicles were actually Ukrainian. Uh, meanwhile, there have been claims being made by the uh, leader of the Russian mercenary group, Wagner, Mr. Evgeny Prigozhin, a very angry recorded message that he left on a, on a telegram channel saying that Russian forces were being forced to withdraw from a village called Berkivka. Now, that is north of Bakhmut. Bakhmut and the village of Berkivka, we understand, were taken full control of by the Russians only last month. Uh, meanwhile, Ukrainian side are saying that they've made small games south of Bakhmut, pushing up um, towards the city. Again, independently to, to independently verify this, very difficult indeed. I think what's also important to mention is increasing chatter by some pro-Russian military bloggers on Telegram channels. They're talking specifically about a town called Novodonetsky, which was in controlled by the Russians. They're saying that there is at least one, possibly two Ukrainian fronts moving towards that town. One blogger saying that the Russians had already lost around two kilometers of territory there. Um, another saying that there was evidence of the German Leopard 2 tanks being used in this operation. But as I say, very difficult to independently verify and we do not expect any kind of official statement by the Ukrainians as to whether this fighting represents a start to this long-awaited Ukrainian counter-offensive.